Why do you want to run in here? Can we in there? It's not possible. No, look. Look, I am. And it's recording. Hmm. So confused. It's recording? Yeah. Just you? <laughs> Hello, everybody. Yeah. Hope I'm in the right place. Let's pause the strange. recording. <laughs> Can I pause the recording? Yeah. That's uh, Would you uh, say our uh, candle lighting blessing, please? As you recite the blessing over the candles. And uh, Nera Shel Shabbat, you want to give us a Baruch Hata? Joy, yeah. Yeah. No, that's not me. That's all right. Um, I'm one of those guys. Yeah. Baruch Hata Lenai, Oheinu Melech Halal, Asher Kedushan, the Mitzvotah Tivanu, Lahalik Nera Shel Shabbat. Amen, amen. Thank you. Page 15, Lachuna Ranana. Lachuna Ranana. Shana akut bedor ba'omaram toy levav heim beheim lo yadu derachai asher nishpati be'apim yevon al menuchati be sixteen shiru ladonai shirat shiru. Seventeen, <laughs> Eighteen. We see every day with eyes filled with wonder, making them brand new each and every day.
quick you gotta you gotta keep it moving when you're singing with ariella <laughs> a little bit yeah upbeat so i like gotta, the upbeat. You, gotta, you gotta keep it moving it's i like the upbeat yeah 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 Uplifting. it's a little fast yeah, you all need it now it was good <laughs> and um but it's not my key it's okay that's true it's either um, too high or too low uh-huh. but you guys don't need all right need so all let's that. do another one that moves <laughs> usually so we've been doing the uh Gonna take that. That's not gonna work. It's okay. That ain't gonna work. Let's do a little faster. Okay. No, no, I like that tune. I'll do any. I'll do no. any. Let's do. Oh, such a nice tune. Uh, okay, we should pick one. Okay, so let's start with that one. I'll get a little faster. One slow, <laughs> and then we get lolly. Okay, one slow, and then the rest fast. All right. <laughs>
Thank you, God, for the gift of Shabbat to allow us to slow down and to sing and relax and enjoy and read. Sadi Katamai Fra Karas Babanon Yuskeshlim Vitaranaim Hatsrote Lohenu Yafri Hu Odinu Gunbiseva Dishanim Rananim Yu Le Haki Kia Sharadonai Suri velo abla tabo Adonai malaka ut lavish 24 lavish Adonai oz hitazar God is robed in strength and light wrapped in light like a garment Erotechanem nulit chanaba kodesh Adonai le orech yamim Invite the mourners to recite the mourners' Kaddish. You can unmute to recite the mourners' Kaddish. Amen. 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 We turn to page 28 for the Baruch Hu. Amen. Amen.
Adonai Eloichem Top of page 32.
Hashkivenu Adunai Eloheinu L'shalom Amidenu Malkenu L'chaim Hashkivenu Adunai Eloheinu L'shalom Amidenu Malkenu L'chaim Oh, for so much, I should make it back home. Ufrosalenu sukat shilomecha baruch atadunai Apore sukat shalom ahalenu v'yakolamo Yisrael v'ya Yerushalayim v'shamro v'ne Yisrael Shabbat la sore ha Shabbat le dorot hamberi dolam be shamro vene Israel et ha Shabbat la sore ha Shabbat le dorot hamberi dolam. Beni uven bene Yisrael, o dile olam, o dile olam, o dile olam. Veshamro bene Yisrael, let hashabar la sorer hashabar. Le dorot amberit olam Ke ishes shed yamim Asadonai Er ha-shamayim Viet ha-aret V'shamro Bene Yisrael Et ha-shabar La sore ha Shabbat le dorot hamberit olam. O vayom ashvi, shalat vayin apash, shalat vayin apash, shabat vayin apash. V'shamro v'ne Yisrael, Et ha-shabar L'atzor et ha-shabat L'edorot amberit olam Yitkada ve-yitkada Shimei ar-raba Be-yamadi ve-rak yirutei Ve-yamlik ma-chutei Mechaye chon v'yom mechon v'chaye d'cho v'y Yisrael V'agala v'yizman k'ari v'yimero amen V'agala v'yizman k'ari v'yimero amen Yehishme rabba mevarach Liyala mula meyomaya Yidbarach Yidbarach ve yishtabach ve yidpaad ve yidbromam ve yidnase ve yidhadar ve yidale ve yidhala Shimere kore shabrihu Le'ela min kobir chata Veshirata Tush bechata v'nechem mata Da amiran b'yalema V'yimero amen V'yimero The Amidah is an opportunity for some personal prayer, page 
Shalom, everybody. Shabbat Shalom. And so uh, it's uh, difficult and traumatic. Well, first of all, it's Hanukkah, so happy Hanukkah. Uh, it's a traumatic, uh, it's a traumatic uh, parsha, a little bit, uh, where we see uh, Joseph's story uh, that we're getting into. And there's just a lot of uh, hate there in the Joseph story. And so we need the light of Hanukkah to uh, brighten up our psyche, you know, just uh, from all the stuff going on in the world and in our parsha. And so here we go. Um, uh, so they come back from the, well, first of all, so Moshe's here. Moshe Vardy's here. So I always like to take advantage of Moshe's, uh, handle on linguistics. Uh, and so the quote here is, um, that's the saddest quote of them all, is, um, bro uh, ito, right? They couldn't even bring themselves to, uh, right to, where is it? The Velo Yahlu Dabro le Shalom. The Lo Yahlu Dabro le Shalom. So, so, you know, it's like, you know, they couldn't, they didn't have a kind word to say. It doesn't really make it, right? So, how would you say that, like, literally? Not, not with an idiom, but Lo Yahlu Dabro le Shalom. Like, what's happening there? Couldn't even, couldn't speak to him. I mean, Dabro, it's a very strange, it's, there is Le Daber, Dibur. I would say Dabro is his speech. It's a very unusual form of Dabro. It's not, I mean, you can't find it. I mean, for me, it sounds something like they, 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 they couldn't even, they couldn't even look at him. It, I cannot think of today, for, for both, more, the, the, the standard grammatical form today will not use it, Dabro. So, so let's think poetically. What, poet, poetically, what does it mean for you? They, they were, were speech. I would say they were speechless. Speech. They hated him so much. They're so jealous of him. They hated him so much. They had so much anger. They were speechless. Literally speechless. Right? Go ahead. Good. That works. Yeah. Think about it. No, not not speechless. That's not good. Not, not speechless. I'll do. I'll, let me go on, and then we'll come back to you at the end. Okay. okay. All right. Mute. Mute for a second. <laughs> mute. Mute. <laughs> All right. Uh, I love this mute stuff. Um, all right. So so it comes back. And um, so you know what happens. He goes to check on them. Uh, they take his ketonet pasin. They take his beautiful coat of many colors. They come back and they tell his father he died. And they sell him down to Egypt. He becomes Pharaoh. Okay. Right. So when he gets back, Jacob says, Jacob tore his clothes. He was so upset. He was inconsolable. He could not be comforted. Right. And vaya veik oto aviv. Vayevk, there it is. Vayevk Oto Aviv. Yeah, um, Vayevk Oto 
of another strange, there's a lot of strange conjugations and semantics in this story. Um, he cried, he just couldn't be consoled. He cried, he cried and cried. And we know the story, he couldn't actually never be consoled. He was inconsolable. On the other hand, um, there's another sort of grief moment uh, that we have in the Nevi'im, uh, King David, right? When, um, when David's son is born sick, uh, he's in a, lies in a coma for seven days and seven nights, hovering between life and death. Right? And King David was laying on the ground beside, you know, and then just pleading with God that he would live. He wouldn't eat. He wouldn't drink. Again, he was inconsolable, but this is before he died. Then, uh, Meta Yeled, he said, or they come to him, he sees somebody, and they say, Mate, he gets up, and he goes about his business, right? Boom. He was uh, almost instantly back to his life, right? Seemingly, on the exterior, right? We, we don't know what's happening on the interior, but right, there are two very different responses to grief, right? They're both sons, right? And so, uh, so you have Yaakov, who was inconsolable, right? For the rest of his life, he couldn't be consoled. And David, seemingly, right away, um, gets up and, and goes back, as uh, as if he were truly consoled. Uh, we don't know absolutely what's happening on the inside, but there's paralysis on one end and then seemingly uh, re-engagement on the other. Right? Uh, obviously, probably a healthy response is somewhere in the middle, as you would imagine, if there is a healthy response. But uh, what is the implication at, at the end of the word, uh, at the end, when, when um, Jacob is um, experiencing his grief, there's a word that only gets used a certain amount of times. He refused to be comforted. Right? And we see uh, in a few other places. It's really a proactive refusal. Uh, sometimes there's the shashelet in the Joseph story, right? uh, which means it was really a, a big deal. The refusal itself was a big deal. And, and so it could suggest in the Torah that, that uh, Jacob refused to be comforted was sort of a, more of a choice than a healthy right response, ain right? The naturally we would want to uh, learn how to uh, grieve and learn how to console and learn how to uh, be paralyzed for seven days and thirty days and uh, an entire week, but then slowly, slowly, gradually, somehow, right? Our tradition calls us back to life, right? And that's um, right what we where we want to be, uh, and we see these two different responses of fathers losing children on either end of the spectrum. Uh, and lo uh, Eleni, may we never know, right, the pain they, they went through. Uh, but what a interesting and fascinating uh, display of the variety of responses to grief um, that are, are present in our Torah and present in real life. And so may we be sensitive to the different kinds of ways that people respond to grief Right? And there is no one way to go about it the right way. Right? We have our traditions that support us through it. And we pray that everybody uses our traditions each in their own way uh, to receive comfort. We continue now with Bayahulu. <laughs> Yalla la 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 la
Kaddish Shalem. If there are any volunteers for Kiddush, anybody have any Kiddush cup around? You can raise it up if you'd like to volunteer or go grab one if you want to say the Kiddush. Uh, our, our back, we have a good back, solid backup in case anyone wants to get it. So, <laughs> so I see a few. Okay. <laughs> Gagerman Kaplan, you want to uh, lead us? Okie doke. You want Joyce to do it with us? 
Joyce did Kendall. She's fine. She's fine. Okay, good. All right. All right. All right. Thank you. Friends, um, we're going to say the mourner's Kaddish. Our condolences go out to the Shirley Katzen's family. I commemorate the following yard sites Bernard Appleblatt, Ruth Brown, Aaron Cohen, Adrian Darlow, Gerald Epstein, Jerry Epstein, Molly Freeman, Sadie Mae Garsick, Saul Gelman, Shirley Geyer, Esther Goldberg, Jean Goldberger, Minnie Golub, Carmela Bernard Holbrook, Louis Karf, Jerome Maris, Joe Ratner, Ellen Robeson Levitt, Yitzhak Ruhani, Joan Schiffman, David Schlachter, Annie Solomon, Sigmund Chip Strauss, Miriam Warshaw, Zelda Kaplan Wiener. Warner <coughs> Scottish. Yikadal, Yikadash, Mirabah. Amen. 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 Am
Amen. May the one who makes peace above bring peace and comfort to us below, and together we say Amen. Amen. The friend, uh, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. What do you got, Moshe? So, think of the, in English, if I say, give me the Sidur. Give me the Sidur, okay. I say it in Hebrew. Ten li et ha Sidur. No, you notice you inserted et ha Sidur. We don't have yeah. it in English. Yeah, yeah. Ten li ha Sidur. Give is a transitive verb. And in biblical Hebrew, they didn't use et. Ben Gurion fought the et very hard. He hated the et. He wanted us to speak in more modern Hebrew to be more biblical. So yeah. you, say, you should say tenli hasidur. Tenli hasidur. Yeah. Tenli hasidur. But for us, it sounds very strange today. It's correct to say tenli hasidur, but it sounds very strange. So we say tenli et hasidur. Right. Now to talk to someone, to talk to itcha, I, I say ani medaber. Itcha. I use et. But in biblical Hebrew, you don't have to do that. You say, Ani medabrecha. Ah, medabrecha. Right. Bidabrecha ito. Right. And you're speaking to him. Right. So it's very direct. And and this 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 way you say, Bedabro means bedaber le daber ito. Very ito. Okay. Ployachlu le daber ito. Okay. So it's. Ployachlu le daber ito. So le dabro. Let the bro shalom. I see. Let the very toe shalom. They couldn't say one a peaceful word. A biblical forum rather than today the more modern form. Today will not say the bro shalom. So they couldn't speak to him. Let the bear ito be shalom. They could not speak to him in peace. Beautiful. Thank you. Yeah, sure. Go off. So interesting. All right. Appreciate your research and uh, well, your uh, experience in two languages. Yes. Now, since I have your attention, I'm going to ask you a Hanukkah puzzle. Okay, I'm ready. Ma Ozur, we translate. Oh, uh, all right. Where does yeah. the ages come here? Uh, How yeah. do we translate Ma Ozur to Rock of Ages? Rock of Ages. Ma Ozur is a rock. Ma um, Oz is my strength. Ma Ozur, you say my strength and my rock. Ah, okay. But not Rock of Ages. Where does Ages come from? Where does the Ages come from? Do you have, a, do you have an answer? I'll give the answer next Friday. <laughs> <laughs> and also, you, you, when you when you say the Kiddush, when you say the Kiddush, you'll, you'll also give us the answer. <laughs> okay. Yeah. okay, beautiful. Uh, tomorrow morning, 9.30, uh, we have our Hanukkah special davening, so come and uh, rejoice for uh, in the spirit of Hanukkah. Uh, we are celebrating some birthdays. Um, Rosalind Hager, uh, Ursula Balagura, Balagura, Melvin Buck, and Linda Tobolsky. And um, anniversaries, the Schneiders and the Pikeses, Mazalto, we'll celebrate tomorrow to be sure. Um, uh, any other announcements, Ken Levine? Sunday, when's... Uh, your class uh, yeah so no there is no class this sunday it'll be next week but one of the things to note is because we're anticipating a lot of rain on sunday we, we bet the, the report says 100 percent, which is rare to find we, we are going to be delaying the drive through hanukkah program until the last night of hanukkah which will be thursday so please make a note somewhere and we'll have a I, we'll switch the two dates We'll have what we would have done on Thursday with Sat Sunday, and we'll delay the outdoor program until we have not a hundred percent chance of rain. 
All right, so if it's raining, don't, well, it will be raining tomorrow night, and so don't come to the shul. We'll do it Thursday. Right, Sunday, not tomorrow. Sunday. Sunday, yeah. Sunday. So, so Sunday night. Sunday night, uh, we're uh, after the football game. Um, stay home. Uh, and then uh, yeah, we'll celebrate on Thursday. Here we go. So we'll end with a Misha Berach prayer. How's that? It's our closing prayer. Here we go. <laughs> Bless us with a priestly benediction. <laughs> sure. Ready, buddy? Here we go. I just have one question, Ken. Yeah. Was that a canine? Yeah, he rats So funny. Very good. I'm but I fell for that. <laughs> hi, Lou. Hi, Sandra. Happy Hanukkah. Hey, I miss y'all. I used to host the big Hanukkah celebration, so we're all just virtually doing it tonight. But I'm, I'm singing together. all the songs for you guys. <laughs> yeah. Next. And decorated for me. Hi, Pam. Hi, everybody. It's great to see you. Hi, Hi. Hi Ariel. It's good to see you two weeks in a row. <laughs> I know. It's so nice. <laughs> Yeah, we're in Evanston, uh, Illinois. We're visiting uh, very social distancely, uh, my aunt, his sister. But it's nice. So I'm finishing out finals here, and uh, but it's nice. It's nice to spend Hanukkah and, and Shabbat here. Well, good luck with those finals. When it's not Shabbos, I have several un shabbos dinner questions for you. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> Coming back. All the topics we usually discuss. Not that there's anything untoward about what we say. They're just inane. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. right, everybody. Happy Hanukkah and good Shabbos. Happy Shabbos. Shalom. Bye. 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 Oops, I didn't mean to. Joe, it's good to see you. Bye, buddy. Hey. <laughs>